Hello everyone and welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree. Today I want to share with you how I made these little clusters. I recently made these at a retreat I was at. I made a whole bunch of them. I made like 30 or so of them and they turned out really really cute. So let's start very very easy to do. So I have a book page that I glued in half just to give it a little bit of sturdiness and I'm just going to rip this I like the ripped edges always gives a little extra character and let's see where's my ruler I have no idea where my ruler oh there it is hold on These are about a little over two and about two and a half and they all vary in size so I'm going to rip this about two inches so right down here I'm going to rip that here and I'm just going to use that as a rough estimate so we've got that piece done. I have a half of a tea bag that I saved from tea. These here came from the Graphics Fairy. Um, I've had them printed out forever and ever. Graphics Fairy, great site. Um, that's where those came from. I have a little piece of file folder. And I have this. Um... Don't know where it came from. I have no idea. I used to have a big one too that belonged to my sister. So you just put that in there. You just turn this. And it kind of makes it look like corrugated cardboard. Just enough. You could use a plain piece. You could use a little piece of a box. Um, I've got that so why not use it. Um, don't even know what they're called. It's a Westcott item, whatever it is. It's made in China. That's all it says on there. So take a peek. I'm sure there's something else. So you could even use um, a um, embossing folder or something like that there as well. So we got that. Now this I want just a bit longer. Well, about the same length as that. Now, I used this thing here, and I scraped up the edges some. I wanted to give it a little more dimension and make it look kind of rough. And so I just did that to it. Now, I want to ink everything. Because, well, I like to ink everything. I find it helps the layers stand out just a little bit more. But you don't have to if you don't want to ink. So there's that. There's pretty much all our pieces. So really, all that I'm going to do is layer these up. But I don't want to layer them even. So let's put the tea bag down first. And I'm just kind of putting it off to the side. If it doesn't stick out all over, that's okay. Then we're going to put down the corrugated cardboard. Try not to put glue on the very corners because quite often those corners stick out. And let's just put that down somehow. As I say, I don't want them to line up. Really hard for me not to line everything up. Then we've got a whole bunch of dyed cheesecloths here. I did the dyeing myself. Let's just put a piece of this green. The end is all kind of 
don't need a huge piece, but I want to be able to see it. That's going to go on. This we didn't ink, so let's quickly ink up there. Now, I don't know whether these were from Graphics Fairy membership thing. I'm thinking they were. So you might have to be a member in order to get these. With quite a bit of glue because I want it to go all the way through the cheesecloth. And I don't really care how this goes down. Got to glue it down a bit. And then I've got so much bling and I hardly use it. So we are going to put bling down the body of this. Now me and these little things of bling always have a good time. Now there are other ones. I used about five of them, although I was using a little bit different bling. So we will try five. We can always get another one. Okay, let's, we need a pair of tweezers for this. And I did not dig them out, but here they are. Very fine point on these. These are a close to my heart ones. And I really like them for doing this little itty bitty work. Now I'm going to line these up before I put my glue down. Just so then they're sort of ready. As they say, me and little bling like this, we tend not to get along very well. Okay, we are going to need a six one though, I can tell just by lining them up there. So yeah, I just make sure that they're kind of all the right side there. Now I'll put my glue down and then I'll try and pick them up with the tweezers and set them on the glue. Sometimes I just end up having to push them on. I try really hard not to get too much glue but this time I managed to get quite a bit on there. And then I'm just going to Drop them on there, kind of. And just sort of put them together. Now you could probably put a little strip of something on there. You could use, like, um, I don't know, any kind of thing like scribbles or nouveau drops or anything like that type of stuff i just choose to use these because i've got them and i don't use them very much trying to use up what i've got but these are that simple now this one still doesn't look great because you can still see the glue but the glue will dry now my plan is some of these, and a couple of them I did, I stitched around this with a little bit of a metallic thread, which actually looked really good. And I might do that on some of them. Probably not all, because there is so many of them. And if you follow me, you know I do all my stitching by hand. But they turned out really cute. I like how they turned out. Um... You can put butterflies in just about any journal, which is always nice. But you could use anything in the middle, a square, circle, anything. If you're lucky enough and have graphics fairy, 
um, you could go and find these little shapes. But, yeah. Adorable. The bling just kind of sets it off really nice. But yet it doesn't add much for thickness. Um, you could even put a little button on there, I think, if you wanted. One of the little pa paper buttons I was making would go good on the middle. Do a couple stitches on there. Pretty much anything you like. And here's all the ones that I made. So there's quite a few in there. It was a fun, easy, quick project. Check out the links. Um, check out my Facebook group and whatnot. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.